in today's session we solve a numerical which is based on inverse transformation or homogeneous inverse transformation okay in homogeneous transformation we find out or we perform the various transformation operation and if here if we see the point as denoted by the two coordinate if we express this point in a three coordinate system and after that we convert it into the new position and then we find out its coordinate so first numerical is here a triangle pqr here is given that there is a triangle with pqr is the vertices and coordinates of the p is 2 1 q 4 4 and r 1 3 is to be translated by a by two units in x direction and four units in a y direction using homogeneous coordinate system determine the new coordinates of the point pqr okay or uh, determine the new point new coordinates of the triangle pqr so first of all we write here the coordinates of the point p is 2 and coordinates of the point q is 4 4 and coordinates of the point r is 1 3 okay and these points are translated by two units in x direction we translate it by two units in x direction if this is coordinate system and this point suppose we consider this point at this point p is here then we have to translate this point p Two units in x direction and four units in a y direction. Means this is this, this point will translate to this position. Okay. Similarly, we have to find out the coordinates of all the points we draw. So we have to translate the points in x direction by two units. Therefore, p x is equal to two and p y is equal to four. Okay. This is the value. Now we have to find out the matrix translated matrix translation matrix. The value of translation matrix is one zero 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 one zero p x p y. So this is our translation matrix. Uh, when we put the value, we get this. One zero 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 one zero p x value of p x is two value of p y is four and this is one. Okay, so this is our transition matrix. Now we have to find out the coordinates of the new coordinates of the point P. So we consider this is new coordinates of the point at the P dash. Therefore, P dash is equal to Translation matrix into its original point. Okay, its original point. So we can write this as one zero 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 one zero two four one. And coordinates of the point P. Coordinates of the point P two one. This is a two. This one and last coordinate is. Okay, so we have to take the multiplication of this. How we multiply one matrix by two? How we multiply the matrix, or how can we done the multiplication of the matrix? This one is multiplied by this two. This zero multiplied this one, and this two is multiplied this one. And take the summation of this. Means one into two, two plus zero into one, zero plus this two into this one. So this we get the first coordinate. Now when we want the second coordinate, then this zero multiply this two, zero plus this one multiply this one, one plus this four multiply this, this four multiply this one that is equal to four. Okay. And now third we have to find out the third point. This zero multiply this by two, zero. This zero multiply this by this one zero and this one this. So this is equal to two plus two, four, four plus one, five, and one plus one. Okay. So this is the 
mu coordinate to the point P, therefore, therefore, P dash is equal to the new coordinates of the point P dash is equal to 4 and 5. The new coordinates of the point P dash is equal to 4 and 5. Now, we have to find out the Q dash. Q dash is equal to Tx into Q translation matrix is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 4, 1. Now, coordinates of the point Q is 4, 4. So here 4, 4, 1. Okay. If we take the multiplication of this, we will get this 1 into 4, 4, 4 plus 0 plus 2 into 1, 2. This 0 into 4, 0 plus this 1 into 4, 1. Sorry, 1 into 4, 4. And this 4 into 1, this is 4. Now, 0 plus 0 plus 1. Okay. So, it is equal to uh, 4 plus 2 is equal to 6, uh, 4 plus 4 is equal to 8, and this is equal to 1. So, coordinates of the point Q dash is equal to 6 and 8. 6 and 8. So, this is the new coordinates of the point Q, that is 6 and 8. Now, we have to find out the coordinates of the point R. So, R dash equal to Px into R. Okay. Px into R. This is the value of Th. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 4, 1. And coordinate to the point R is 1, 3, 1. 1, 3, 1. And if we take the multiplication of this, we will get this 1 into 1 plus 0 plus 2, 0 plus 3, 0 plus 3 plus 4, and 0 plus 0 plus 1. So it will be equal to 3, 7, 1, and therefore R dash is equal to 3, 7. So these are the new coordinates of the point. P, Q, R. So, so you will write here P dash is equal to this is the coordinate so P dash is equal to 4, 5 Q dash is equal to 6 and 8 and R dash is equal to 3 and 7. So this is the new coordinate of the point P, Q, R or a triangle P, Q, R. So in this way we can find out the new coordinates of point EQR when we given that uh, the translation is done by two units in x direction and translation is done by two units in a y direction. Okay. Now we install another numerical. Uh, so uh, statement of the numerical is a triangle with vertices. A is equal to 8, 0, B is equal to 12, 0, and C is equal to 12, 3. Has undergoes a reflection about the line Y is to X. The reflection of the line is done about the line Y is equal to X and find out the concatenated transformation matrix and then find new coordinates of triangle ABC using a homogeneous transformation. We have to find out the new matrix or new coordinates of the point A, B, C. First of all, we write that given uh, the coordinates of the point A is equal to 8, 0, B is equal to 12, 0, and C is equal to 12, 3. Okay, these are the coordinates of the A, B, C. And we have to reflection, reflection a 
hole line y is equal to x. So we have to find out the component transformation matrix. So we denote it by y is equal to x is equal to this component transformation matrix and it has the value of that is 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay? So this is our concatenated transformation matrix and we have to find out the new coordinates of the point A, B, C. So to find the new coordinates of the point C, we mark new position as A dash. We mark the new position of the point A is a A dash and A dash is equal to M Y is equal to X into A. Okay. So this matrix is equal to 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And coordinates of the point A is 8, 0, 1. Okay. So we can take the multiplication of this. When we take the multiplication, this is equal to 0 into 8, 0, 1 into 0. 1 into 0, 0 and 0 into 1, 0. Okay, so 0 plus 3, 1 into 0 plus 0. Okay, to find out the new coordinates, that is 1 into 8, 8 plus 0 into 0, 0 plus 0 into 1, 0. And 0 into 8, 0, 0 into 0, 0 and 1 into 1, 1. So this is equal to 0, 8, 1. Okay. This coordinates on the point A dash. A dash is equal to 0 and 8. Okay. 0 and 8. Now we have to find out the coordinates of the point B. New position of the point B that is equal to B dash. B dash is equal to M of y is equal to x into b so it's equal to this value is 0 1 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 and coordinates of the point b is 12 0 12 0 1 if we take a multiplication of this 0 into 12 is 0, 1 into 0, 0, plus this is 0 into 1, 0. Now 1 into 12, 12, plus 0 into 0, 0, plus 0 into 1, 0. And this is equal to 0 plus 0 plus 1. So this is equal to 0, 12, 1. This coordinates of the point B dash is equal to 0, 12. 0, 12. Now we have to find out the new position of the point C. This is equal to C dash. C dash is equal to M into Y is equal to X into coordinates of the point C. So this is equal to 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And coordinates of the point C is 12 and 3. 12, 3, 1. If we take a multiplication of this, 0 into 12, 0, plus 1 into 3, 1. 1 into 3, 3, plus 0 into 1, 0. Now 1 into 12, 12, plus 0 into 3, 0, plus 0 into 1, 0 and this is equal to 0, 0, 1 and the coordinates is equal to 3, 12, 1 and new position of the point C dash is equal to 3, 12. Okay. So this is the new position of the part of the point A, B, C that is A, new position of the A is equal to A dash, it has the coordinates 0, 8, 
b dash has a coordinate 0 12 and c dash has a coordinate 3 12 okay so this is the reflection of the triangle abc about the line y is equal to x We are given that determine the percolated transformation matrix for rotating any entity about the given point. Means here they given that there is one entity or any object or any point. This entity means anything. It may be a point, it may be a line, or it may be any object. We have to find out the percolated transformation matrix for rotating on any entity about the given point ok so first of all we consider that about given point consider we be consider this is the point P and it, it has a coordinate x r and y r means our entity is rotating about this point P and it has a coordinate x r and y r ok and now we consider rotating means rotation is done by some angle theta. If the rotation is done in a clockwise direction, then we will take it as a negative. And when rotation is done in an anti-clockwise direction or a counter-clockwise direction, we consider it as a positive. So here we consider it, consider that our entity is rotating in a counter-clockwise direction by an angle theta. Entity. rotating by counter clockwise direction theta ok we can see that our entity is rotating theta angle in a counter clockwise direction ok so we have to find out that the coordinates or we have to find out the concatenated transformation matrix. To find out the concatenated transformation matrix, we have to perform three steps. The first step is transmission. The first step is translation. So what is the meaning of that translation? Suppose we consider here this is my x-axis, this is my y-axis and it is positive ok and we have to rotate any point we consider this entity is a point and we have to rotate this point about the given point our given point consider this is our given point suppose we consider this is a P and it has a coordinate X and X R and Y R we have to rotate our given entity about this point we have to rotate our given entity about this point it has a coordinate xr and yr to perform the rotation first of all we have to trans transfer or translate this point to this origin ok we have to translate this point at to the origin so while translating these points at the origin how much amount we have to translate suppose this is my y r and this distance is equal to x r ok so we when we want to translate this point p to origin means i have to translate or we have to shift from this position to here by an amount x r means our translation coordinates here or translation p x is equal to minus x r minus x r why minus x r? Because we are shifting from here to left hand side. We are shifting from its original position to the left hand side by in x direction we shifted by distance x r and y direction we shifted by distance y r and this is also negative. So therefore p y is equal to minus y r. Okay. Suppose, suppose 
My point P is here. My point P has a coordinate x star and y hat. My coordinates is x star and y hat. I have to shift it from this position to origin. So how much is to have to shift? This is x r and this distance is equal to y r. So here I am shifting from this position to this side. Okay, means I am shifting here. That is p x is equal to if we take x as a negative because we are shifting from this position to here. So this x r is negative, but in second coordinate, in second coordinates, this x r is negative and y r y r is positive. So t x is equal to minus x r and t y is equal to minus y r. Okay. So our translation matrix p h is equal to one zero 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 one zero p x p y one so it is equal to one zero 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 one zero minus x r minus y r and one so this is our p x okay now we have to find out the rotation time second step our first step is translation second step is rotation Second step is rotation. So rotation matrix is R, and we have a value of R means we have to rotate this entity by an angle theta in a counterclockwise direction. Counterclockwise direction means we take as theta is equal to positive, and our rotation matrix is cos theta sine theta zero minus sine theta cos theta zero. Zero zero one. This is our rotational matrix. And third step of this, to find out the concentric transformation matrix when we rotate any entity about the given point is inverse. Inverse of translation. We have to take the inverse of the translation. That is E H inverse. P H is the inverse of this matrix. We have to take the inverse of this matrix. The inverse of this matrix is equal to one zero 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 one zero minus T X minus T Y and one. Once we put the value here, one zero 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 one zero. We have to take the minus of T X. And T X is equal to minus X R. Means this minus minus becomes plus, so it is here X R Y R one. So this is our inverse matrix. Okay. And now, now C T. Concurrent transformation matrix. We have to find out the concurrent transformation matrix. It is equal to. P H inverse into R into P H. Okay. This is the value of concurrent transformation matrix, which is equal to C T is equal to P H inverse R into T H. Okay. So this is our concurrent transformation matrix. Uh, for simplification purpose, we will take one numerical here. Uh,
the given that there is an object rotating about the point A. Here they get given that the point is A and having the coordinates minus 10 minus. Coordinates of the point A is minus 10 minus this and by 90 degree and by 90 degree counterclockwise counter direction okay we have to find out the concatenated transformation matrix when they given that the point about the any point when they said that about given point given point is here a and it has the coordinates minus 10 minus 10 and rotating by 90 degree in a counterclockwise direction so we have to find out the concatenated transformation matrix so here xr is equal to minus 10 yr is equal to minus 10 okay xr is given that minus 10 yr is equal to minus 10 okay now we given that tx is equal to tx is equal to minus xr and it is equal to 10 and ty is equal to minus yr and it is also equal to 10 and theta is equal to 90 degree so first of all the first step is our trans translation so translation so what is the translation matrix th th is equal to 1 0 0 0 1 0 Tx Ty Okay, so it is equal to 1 0 0 0 1 0 Tx is equal to 10 Ty is also equal to 10 and it is equal to 1 Okay, this is our translation matrix Now second is rotation rotation so r is equal to cos theta sin theta 0 minus sin theta cos theta 0 0 0 1 so it is equal to this matrix has the value cos 90 theta is equal to 90 so cos 90 is equal to 0 so it is equal to 0 sin 90 is equal to 1 and this 0 is equal to 0 sin 90 sin 90 is equal to 1 and it is equal to minus cos 90 0 0 0 0 1 so this is our rotational matrix now third one is inverse inverse of translation inverse of the translation that is th inverse is equal th inverse is equal to 1 0 0 0 1 0 minus tx minus ty 1 so it is equal to 1 0 0 0 1 0 tx ts is equal to 10 here is minus sign minus 10 ty is also minus 10 and it is equal to 1 so this is the inverse of the translation now fourth step concatenated transformation matrix so CT CT concatenated transformation matrix is equal to inverse of translation into rotation and into translation ok so we will solve here first of all CT CT is equal to matrix 1 
matrix of th th is equal to 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 
inverse over translation. And then container transformation matrix can be find out Zt is equal to Th inverse R into Th. So this is the overall procedure to find out the container transformation matrix.